All right, so we're going to introduce a new myth, also another Greek myth. Narciss, as many of you've heard, Narcissus. They're both correct pronunciation. It depends on how you want to pronounce it for this actual myth. So I'm going to say Narciss for now, Narciss and Echo. As you can see, the name of this myth is very significant. And look at this image, the flower. We're going to discuss the significance of the flower. What do I mean by flower? Why a flower? Does it have a symbolic meaning, representation, perhaps? So we're going to review this myth and explore who Narcissus is, the concept of what a narcissistic person, his attributes or her attributes are. So someone so self-obsessed, could this lead to their downfall? Perhaps. We're going to review this a uh, lovely myth and watch the video. The video also represents uh, the myth, but it's very similar to the text. Actually, not to be precise, uh, it, it shares the same wording almost of very important phrases that you can use as evidence when you write your compare and contrast essay or PowerPoint presentation. And if you notice, Miss, almost in every myth that we introduce, Nazima and I have planned a set of questions that are very important because they guide you to your understanding of the text in relation to the plot structure. The plot structure is very, very important as it represent as it represents excellence and excellent understanding of the text. So please make sure you answer these questions. The next class is going to be dedicated to actually analyzing the text. So we're going to uh, analyze word by word, indicating perhaps uh, themes, the role of the characters, uh, compare it with another text intertextuality, whether it's obvious or it's not. What do I mean by metamorphosis? Is there a relation or not? So all of this is going to be answered within this week. And then we're going to have a vocabulary test. I want to assess your understanding of unfamiliar words in the text. What do I mean? Obviously, these words are slightly uh, easier than the ones uh, than the one in Pandora. What do I mean by narcissism, vanity, reflection, illusion? Who is echo? What do I mean by obsession? And so on. Discuss the use of language. So let's compare it with Pandora's box. Discuss the figurative language used. Is there a simile, hyperbole, personification? Uh, is there an element perhaps of symbolism? We're going to discuss these all. And finally, we're going to compare and contrast it with Pandora's box. Notice how we're starting to bridge for the A4 project.